high parastinal views that is above the nipple line or we also some for some of the views we call them subclavicular views that is in the upper one third of the sternum what are the major views which are included in this are like in the left subclavicular view we have ductal view pulmonary artery view pulmonary vein view we do in the same region we do have the svc view in which we we do the look for the svc entering into ra then in suprasternal notch we do the aortic arch so these are the main views we do in the high parasternal views so for neonatologist this is one of our very favorite and major view this is we do in left subclavicular areas pointer is pointing at 12 to 1 o'clock position this is how we do it you can see pointer is pointing at 12 to 1 o'clock position in the left subclavicular area probe orientation marker is up here this is a kind of modified short axis view you are seeing again aorta in cross section but then you will see this pulmonary artery and this is descending aorta so if the pdi is there the pdi is always uh, starts from the descend uh, where the descending aorta starts from descending aorta and move towards the pulmonary artery so this is the connection okay so these two vessels the blood is flowing away from the probe so they it looks like blue pda is there in pda if it is blood is flowing from aorta to pulmonary artery that is left to right so it will be towards the probe so it will be red as you can see in this when we put a color there is no connection between pulmonary artery and aorta so there is no pda but in this you see a clear cut red jet from descending aorta moving towards the pulmonary artery so that means there is a pda and which is and the blood is flowing flowing purely from left to right side from aorta towards the pulmonary artery and then either from the right subclavicular or supra suprasternal view pointer pointing at 12 to 1 o'clock position we see the arch view this is ascending aorta this is aortic arch and this is your descending aorta this thing what you are seeing is your rpa right pulmonary artery why because aorta moves like this and pulmonary artery criss cross like this so if i am cutting the aorta longitudinally so rpa which is from here like this will be cut cross sectionally so this is how your aorta is being cut longitudinally and the rpa is being cut cross sectionally and this is what when we put a color doppler in this this is the blood is flowing away from the probe so it is blue and hence when i trace this do the dopplers it is below the line below the line okay so <clears throat> in the uh, 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 where we do the ductal view in the left subclavicular area we again do these two views that is pulmonary artery view and pulmonary vein view in this you will see in the left subclavicular area the pointer is pointing towards 3 o'clock in ductal view and arch view it was pointing at 12 to 1 o'clock position in this it is cross sectional it is pointing towards 3 o'clock probe orientation marker is still up there and this is what you see this is your mpa main pulmonary artery this is your rpa right pulmonary artery this is your lpa left pulmonary artery and this is your aorta in cross sectional okay aorta is on the right side of this pulmonary artery and it is posterior to this pulmonary artery so this view is all also useful to calculate the size of pulmonary artery see the blood flow in the pulmonary artery and if it is tga then this um, uh, relative position of aorta and pulmonary artery will change aorta will become anterior to that in this view so this is what i am doing the color doppler in the pulmonary artery you can see the uh, color flow blood flow in mpa rpa and lpa so in the same place pointer pointing at 3 o'clock if i sweep downwards downwards okay towards the foot this is what i would see this pulmonary artery is there still in the view but now what has opened up is la left atrium and these four things 1 2 3 and 4 these four are the pulmonary veins which are entering in your left atrium so it looks like a crab so it also known as the crab view basically it is a pulmonary vein view or crab view when i put a color and as you will notice the velocity range we have decreased because this is a venous flow so we are seeing this red color flow that is a pulmonary vein so this is your left lower vein 
pulmonary vein this blue thing which is coming from up downwards is left upper this is right lower and there here will be right upper so this is your pulmonary vein